Black Knight 88. Hey, and welcome. Holly R. Sounds better. Okay. Um, Kylie. Turn the heat down song. Uh, I cannot say your name, but Awakening, say hey, hey, 2%. Turn it on 73. Um, sound much better. Okay, good, good. All right, come on, wait some more people come in. And then... Look into it. All right, y'all. So let's see. Um, Diane, Diane Wynn, afternoon, MGL. Everyone, hey, honey bun. Corey Morris, hey. All right, y'all. So, like I was saying, um, peppers, peppers take forever, like weeks to just germinate. So, I wanted to start them January 1st, but I ain't got a chance to do it. So I'm about to start them now. Something else that takes forever is okra. So I'm going to start peppers and okra um, now. I know I said I wasn't going to grow peppers, and I didn't grow them last year because they messed with my GERD. But I found another way to do them. I can still have them if I dehydrate them and turn them into a powder. So I'm going to do that. Then I can add it to soups or whatever dishes I want and don't have a problem. I still can have some, um, maybe if I peel the skin off from, because that seems like where a lot of the acidity in the pepper is. So I can do it that way. Another reason why I'm doing peppers is because that's going to be one of the staples, one of the things that I take to the flea market, okay? So here we got a lot of people that like spicy stuff. Um... And even with the peppers, the mild ones, I still can't take straight out because it's a city. It is what it is. Um, so that's what I'm about to get started. Um, I had put the tomatoes, the peppers, all in a bag. And I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did throw them away. And I'm glad I did. So I got a variety of peppers from Dollar Tree, from Baker's Creek, like these right here. So I'm going to start off with these right here is so pretty. Y'all know I like pretty stuff, pretty colorful stuff. So this is a Baker's Creek, um, of course, heirloom. It is the name of it, mm, something Rosso. I'm not going to be able to say that. But if y'all shop on Baker's Creek um, and this look like something you want to get, then this is the name of that pepper. So. A cheap way to do it is, I got to get some more of these. These, these pans you cook in, just aluminum pans. I ain't put no holes at the bottom of nothing. Now, let me say, if you new to gardening and you do it this way, you can't overwater it because there is no holes in here to drain it and your plant going to end up sitting in water and dying, root rot. So, um, because I consider myself... <laughs> Um, not a know everything about gardening, but a skilled gardener, the way I do it, 
I'm just going to keep it moist, okay? So I'm not going to be, since these are going to be in the house, I'm not even putting them in the garage. I'm going to set them in the living room because they need to be warm. I do have a heating mat that I can possibly put them on, but I'm going to see how they do just being inside the house and see if I can get them to germinate, okay? So keep in mind, if you try this route and you don't put holes in the bottom for the drain, you're not going to drench it with water, okay? I have a spray bottle. The soil that I got in here is very dry. So I'm going to start. I'm finna get it moist, and then I'm going to start doing So another thing, normally when we start in seeds, we start them in sale trays and all that stuff. I'm putting a lot of seedlings in this, okay, in different areas. When I'm ready, when they, you know, germinate and get strong enough for whatever to be transplanted then i just come pull what i need put it in a seed tray whether i'm going to take it to the flea market because i am going to sell seedlings okay i'm going to sell plants so i need to make sure that i have some for to go outside in the garden for me to actually grow the stuff um and then also to have plants at the flea market all okay? right so i'm doing it two different ways Starting some now to take plants there in the next eight to ten weeks or whatever, I can go ahead and do because all I would do is just let the customer know, hey, you may not want to put these outside right now. <laughs> um, if you got a greenhouse, that'll be perfect um, because if we get another frost, it's going to kill it. As for taking them out, I will take them out to the greenhouse um in the next eight to ten weeks some of these take even longer to germinate so that's why i'm getting them started now so don't start peppers and stuff now and say hey when they germinate i'm gonna take them out i'm in zone 8a if you're in zone 8a keep in mind just because we're in the same zone our weather still can be different okay so i know okay so i'm eastern carolina coastal carolina is the correct term zone 8a back home Mississippi people is in zone 8A and they still got different weather. So a lot of people say, well, we're in the same zone. We can grow the same thing or we can put the same thing out at the same time. That's not the case. OK, so you got to know your weather. So I don't want y'all to lose no money and lose time on plants and stuff because they didn't make it. OK. Kyra knows 144 greetings. MGL. Hey, honey bun. Um, unimportant home said, Hey, my fellow Mississippians, welcome, y'all. Kyra knows 144 saying, Much love and respect. Thank you so much, honey. Cast the teas, hey, hun. Good day, MGL, and everybody in this live. Unimportant homestead, you need to grow some moringa. Uh, uh, I ain't into moringa and stuff. Unimportant homestead, I probably need to be. I ain't into moringa, I just ain't. Maybe, maybe later this year, maybe next year, some some may hit me and I'm just not into it. <laughs> Diane Wynn say, I love seeing your progress, MGL, but okra is one vegetable I can't eat. I can try growing it to share with someone else this summer. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, honey. A lot of people can't eat okra. They don't like the texture of it. I love okra, okay? And try to eat it. I don't know if you... Have ever tried to eat it raw, but it's good raw too. Less slimy, still have a little bit to it, but it's very good. Um, her knows one for us to be welcome. Peace to the chat. Thank you. Try okra and oxtail soup. Oh, girl, you just made me hungry. I love oxtails, but I'm back on my clean eating. Nothing wrong with beef, but I'm not incorporating beef. So, guess what? I had to let the oxtails go. Um, PNG, thank you for telling everybody to hit the thumbs up button as y'all come in because it do hit the channel. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and get. So I'm gonna start, like I said, off with this pepper right here. Um, because it's pretty, and it seems like something that people will be interested in. Because here we have like Caribbean restaurants and stuff, which y'all know if y'all know me <laughs> was my favorite, even though I had to watch. But the oxtails, the rice and peas, that was my thing. But dudes, when I say that is different type of spices and stuff. 
Now, some some of these peppers is not even hot. They just pretty. Like um see if it tells me about this one. I don't know if this one is hot. Let's see. Heat mat warm sauce. See, they even suggest the heat mat. I may end up putting them on the heat mat. I'm not sure. But sweet pepper. I think this one is hot. This one not hot. Sweet. I don't think this one is hot neither. Yeah, it don't say nope. It's not hot neither, but it's pretty. It's pretty, y'all. So the people that can't have spicy stuff can still enjoy a pepper. Okay. So I am gonna. And let me just tell y'all, because a lot of places ain't giving you a lot of seeds. Um, everything is up, so you the price of the seeds is up, but it's not that many in the packs. I've noticed it. So one thing I would say, if you know you got heirloom seeds, and you... What happened? Okay. If you know you got heirloom seeds... When you grow your stuff, you might want to keep, like if you grow a pepper, take a couple off from to save the seeds from it. So you can start building your own seeds, okay? Because I don't know how long they may be available, okay? So keep that in mind. This thing just cut off on its own. All right, so I'm going, like I said, no holes is in here. I'm just going to spritz this and get this really, really moist. So really, really moist before I start. If you just coming in or you see this, you come in during this time, you're going to have to watch the, the beginning um, to know what I said about this part here, because y'all, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I found myself doing it the other day, and I do it often in the live, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah. y'all comments in a minute y'all Alright y'all, I needed my music on. <laughs> I gotta be listening to something. I can't do a quiet, quiet all the time. But then sometimes I do be on my quiet. Journey to the homestead. Hey, honey. Have you ever baked your soul? No. <laughs> no. Honey, no. I ain't never baked no dirt. Well, no, I did. It wasn't for that, though. It was that dirt you eat. I like that. But I ain't had no family. That's on the dirt I have baked, honey. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one. 
And y'all, I'm not worried about overcrowding it because I'm going to be transplanting. This right here is just to get them in here, you know? And I always do extra because I always do extra in case some don't make it work, okay? So, and I know why I'm doing them. So, and I'm going to top it with dirt in a little bit, so it'll be fine. I just hope. I'll put it in the center and put some more in the back, y'all. That'll be just my look. All of them may not come up, or they may come up and some may get damaged. I ain't got time to be waiting all the time for no peppers to restart them. All right. Let me eventually do you. Let me get the ones I really want. I know my, I don't think I have any smoking eggs. I think normally I have to buy those, like the plants. But Hibernero is a good seller here, okay? Let me see. That's a tomato, tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Alright, so hibernero it is. get mixed up y'all by the time it grows I know what it is <laughs> I know what it is need them to germinate. Uh, all right. So that was Hibernera. Something else that sold in my area was Serrano and Chili's. Um, let's see. These right here. Serrano's The cayenne chilies, actually. Well, cayenne and then the chilies. They're two different ones, y'all, but they look alike.
Hungarian. Hungarian. Let me tell y'all something. I am going to drop some of these as soon as I figure out I got some more. This one right here. This pepper here. Uh, Priscilla, Bonjo, or whatever. It's a good pepper. And let me tell you. You do what you're supposed to do. This sucker right here produces a lot of peppers. So you should be able to find this one like at Lowe's or whatever. With whoever carries the fairy moss. You see it's Lowe's. Um, Because I know some places carry burpee and some people carry 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 this so this one right here if y'all looking for a pepper yeah to produce yeah i've grown that one two years straight and it produces a lot okay lots try to get all these tomatoes I'm going to wait before I do tomatoes a couple more weeks, um, probably a few more weeks, because they grow fast. So fast. It's not, uh, oh, these are the ones I'm looking for. These are the ones I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm about to drop. So these are the cayenne peppers. And then I do have, those are the Serrano chilies. I'm actually looking for another chili. It's similar to this one, but it's not the it's not that one. And I had people buying those from me to make uh chili sauces. I don't have any the smoking egg uh reapers or the ghost pepper seeds. I don't have none. The ones I had had ordered from a seed company. And them things, man, I may try it again because they just didn't, they didn't germinate at all, none of them. So I'll probably end up having to get those two plants from Lowe's or whatever. Yeah, I'll probably end up having to do that. But let me get these in here. Mm -hmm. I don't mind having a lot of these for myself because <laughs> I just like picking them even though I can't eat them I like picking them I just I just do but like I say some of these will be sold as plants so Now, these right here, though, let me tell y'all. This is what I mean by take y'all seeds. I got marker all over my daggone hand. All right, so these that you see here are all seeds that I saved. These are my seeds that I grew. Um, I grew the stuff and then saved the seeds from them. So I already started, like, saving my own so I don't have to keep buying them. Different ones. So I have like banana peppers. These are tomatoes. Jalapeno peppers. And stuff like that. So you might want to start doing that. So sometimes people be saying that hybrid stuff don't. The seed you can't grow from hybrid. I have done it. I have had some stuff that was labeled hybrid. And still 
grew stuff from it. So I don't understand, you know, I'm not telling you to get all hybrid stuff because it may not grow. It may not work like that for you. Um, so stick to heirloom if you're trying to do that because that's supposed to be, you know. But I have done it. So I don't. I don't understand <laughs> that part of it. All right, so let's see. Hey, Burley's Blossom Gardening. Ah, uh, miss some of y'all. Let's see, Chastity. Miss y'all. Miss y'all. Okay, I'm gonna start here. Journey to the homestead. Say, hey, y'all, first live. Oh, welcome, honey. Welcome. Um, Have you ever baked? Okay, so I saw that. Okay, so Chartese Wells. I hope I said it right. Hey, last day, Saint. Hi, big baby. Hey. um, PNG, thank you for putting the Amazon affiliate link in the chat. I appreciate it. Unimportant homestead. Have you? Ever grown sugar rush peach peppers? Oh no, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Where can I get some from, Johnny? Okay, Johnny. Burley's blossom. Hey, wow, planting the same seeds right now. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. See, there we go. <laughs> Hey, Dragon Queen number one. Ralph, Mississippi girl. I hope everything is well. Yes. See, we been we are being lazy. No seed starting yet. Oh, come on, unimportant homestead. Come on. I, I, hey. Mississippi. Come on there. We need to be going here getting that started. You know how the weather is there. <laughs> but I understand though. Uh I'm late on getting these from when I wanted to get them done myself. So but we got to get it done. So jalapeno pepper sounds good. I love jalapeno, especially pickled ones. But they don't love me. So what can I do? Um, where? Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, PNG, for putting the TikTok link in the chat. Heirloom is true to seeds, but I heard you can't get it mixed. But the plants that is not true to see, look, and you know what? I'll be honest, if I'm getting food from it, and it's edible food, that's all that matters to me. To be honest, I ain't even gonna sit here because that's why I don't know, I don't Google nothing like that, I don't look it up because I, if I'm gonna get a plant from it, then you know, y'all gonna know if y'all new over here, I ain't so like in deep, like in, I don't get like in, I just try to keep it simple and keep moving you know so so i mean <laughs> hey garden state garden love seed starting yes uh sugar rust peach try jimmy pickles they are it's like see okay jimmy pickles okay thank you um garden state gardener pamela wilson hey honey say mgl in every way um the sugar rust peach rush peach is hot oh when it's not right but when it's right it is they are sweet with a little heat okay i'm gonna have to look for those so garden said garden said try um jimmy pickles so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try them i gotta look more first <laughs> i've never heard of them either um unimportant wants to say yes yes food is food the simpler the better exactly and that's just the way i look at it you know so i know people say oh you get hybrid um you ain't it ain't, ain't nothing gonna happen yeah i have grown from hybrids like i mean yeah so um we got ours at baker creek oh see unimportant Homestead, don't tell me that. I that's one site I do not need to be on, y'all. I got like five seed books, not from Baker Creek alone, like <laughs> in general. 
And I've been looking through those and all that. And no, you sending me. Okay, Unimportant Homestead, it's your fault in a good way. Because you're sending me to Baker's Creek, okay? You're sending me over there. Because I got to go look for those. Because those would be something different that I possibly, if I can't eat them, they don't agree with me, then I just take them. I know I know who will eat them, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, when I go to the flea market, it's a lot of um of the Hispanics and stuff, and they love those peppers. It's like, you know, you know, a major part of their dish, like um Caribbean dishes for some of the places that's here. And being in a military town, you have all types of people. So a lot of them love spices. Like I have um every year here, I have a guy. Um, he's African. He always get the hot pepper, the ghost peppers and the reapers. That's what he wants. He said he make a pepper sauce for like some of their dishes. Um, and I know some of their stuff, like is it I don't think a goosey soup is, but they like they pepper stew and stuff like that be really, really spicy. So I'm guessing that's what he be using it for. So that'd be like my biggest, that's one of my biggest clients in the summertime is him. And I hope he's still stationed here. <laughs> um, he ain't left since last summer because if he had been, then he'll probably be my biggest client. Um, yeah, he'll probably be my biggest client. Let's see. So now that makes sense on why I need to go and get those ghost peppers and the reapers plants. Because I don't have no seeds for them. Um, let's see. So y'all, if y'all looking to do that and you have a flea market in your area, make you some coins that way. You know, gardening is fun. So you can eat from it. Make sure you stock up and do what you're supposed to do and then make you some coins. Because you got to look at if you got like chickens and stuff like that, you got to buy feed and stuff and that stuff going up. So any way you can make a dollar, make it, you know, I enjoy doing it. Like this is like been one of my dreams to do. I've been talking about having a fruit stand for the past three years, <laughs> for the past three years. And if God say the same, it's finally happening. I'm finally at a place where I, I want to focus on it. So. Um, let's see. Where am I at? You laughing, unimportant homestead. I'm telling you, y'all send me over there. Um, hold on. Sugar rust peach. Sugar rust. Let me do this. Because I know me. I'm going to forget. So I'm going to take a picture of the chat real quick. So I make sure, because my chat may not be up in time, so I make sure I don't forget. I ain't going to forget to go to Baker's Creek, but I better forgot the name of this. Let me find it. Okay, there you go. Got it. So now, I make sure I don't forget the name of it without before my chat come back up. Y'all, some of y'all be messaging me saying you can't find my chat after I do a live. YouTube don't put the chat up for almost like 24 hours. So how the chat is strolling, you'll be able to see that after 24 hours. You can always leave a comment under the live screen, but sometimes you don't. I even put live on um, chat replay and stuff, and it still be sometimes taking a while for the chat to be available. After 24 hours, when you go into the live stream, make sure you click under the bottom of the video. It'll say live chat. You have to click that so it'll pull up if any of you looking for information from the chat. Okay? Because I get that email a lot. Um, Let's see. Raph said, I love the flea market. Me too. Me too. Burley's Blossom sugar rose peppers are the best and sweet. So you know about the wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I don't have this pepper. And they calling this something else. What it look like? Somebody tell me what it look like. Because y'all know I be having so many seeds. I ain't got none that sound like a sugar rush peach. I really don't. I don't think so. So I probably don't have it. I got have anybody um did this one? From Baker Creek. Have anybody tried this pepper here? 
is Pippin's Golden Honey. Because I'm about to do this one next. Pippin's Gold... Pippin's oh, Pimpin, straight Pimpin. <laughs> but it's Pippin's Golden Honey, okay? Let's see. Okay, Garnet said, Garnet said, dehydrate the hot peppers and make them into a powder. It's a game changer. Yes, that's what I was saying, Golden State. I used to do a couple years back, well, more than a couple years back, but I stopped. I just didn't have time. So that's why I said I'm going to do and sprinkle it on something. My body won't even know I had it. <laughs> it's already broken down. So that's what I said I'm going to end up doing. Um, Only need a sprinkle on food. Yes. And you don't get heartburn. Exactly. Garden State Gardener, exactly. Take all of them. Oh, um, y'all, give me one minute. One, one second. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let me see. You catch up. But that's what I was saying, Garden State Garden. I'm going to go back to my dehydrating, y'all. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to. A lot of homemaking, um, homemaker stuff is finna come. I got to, y'all, because y'all look at these. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all remember, I had got this thing down. These was a little down. And it's not even about that. It's not even about that. I know, I know with my height, and I know how I feel when I gain. I almost wanted to beat myself up. Like, how did you get almost back to 145? Eating, feeding my face. <laughs> um, one song that I like, some of you may know if y'all listen to this type of music, is Happy Weight. I say like she gained that happy weight, I guess. But I'm trying to get back to at least not even going on no diet. I ain't going on no diet. I don't do diets. I do not do diets. But I do know I have to need to change my eating because I'm starting to take um, my famotidine, which is uh, acid reflux GERD medication. I'm starting to have to take it more again after I had gotten to where I didn't even have to take it. And it's because of I've been ripping and running, dealing with a lot, and just recklessly eating. So... Not going on no diet. I just changed and go back to the way that I know my lifestyle. I go back to my lifestyle. So, yeah. And with that comes, you get back in shape or whatever. Simple as that. So, that's another reason. And I'm like, dang, I know it's more foods I can eat if I keep my GERD in check. But, yeah, I know. And if you got heartburn and stuff, you understand if you're overweight for your body type, you're, I'm a small frame person. I should not be over my weight for my height. So that plays a big role, too. So I'm like, okay, I got to do something about it, okay? Because I'm not getting them them last five pounds. I'm not gaining those last five pounds. That's going to put me at 145. I'm not doing it. Y'all, I ain't tall as nothing. A lot of y'all keep saying, oh, you tall. I just have long legs. I'm short. I'm 5'2". That's all I am, 5'2". Okay, so I know what I need to do, and that's what I'm trying to do. And stock up at the same time. <laughs> so, and I did I did good today. Today, I only had boiled eggs, greens, canned greens. Ew, y'all. Let me see, y'all. These greens was great value canned greens, right? And... They had so many stems. I don't like greens with stems. When I cook fresh greens, I take the stems out. I don't cut up the stems in them. No. They were so they had so many stems in them. I barely got it down. Then I ate pineapple, which I was worried it was gonna mess with my girl. It didn't. So that and then I had like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, a person with GERD is not supposed to overeat. You're supposed to eat. Don't starve yourself, because that'll be worse. 
but you're not supposed to overeat. So I've been eating, eating, so I felt good today, even getting back to the lifestyle I have to have. And the kids said they felt the same way because they was eating the same, the same way, you know. They're getting calories, they're eating, but just not sitting there eating it all at once. It's got to be able to digest. So, yeah, so I was happy about that. So, doing all this right here is lifestyle. Uh, for me, of course, it's lifestyle. Lifestyle. Um, Let me see, because I am behind in these chats. If I miss y'all, please run your message back through because I'm so far behind now, y'all. Yes, you are going to see lots of seeds to buy. <laughs> yes, birds and out. Burlies, I don't need no more seeds. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There are some things I do need seeds for that I'm out. I do. I do. And y'all, hold up. When I went out there to get these uh, seeds right here, the fact that I said I don't need no more seeds, I found these. I don't know what they are. Let me see. <laughs> Y'all, I found these. I don't think no pepper seeds in here, though. Oh, I found... Oh, I was looking for some chives. I found a bag of seeds that I ain't even put away. Let's see. Microgreens. I don't even remember getting these. And then I do. Ain't no peppers in here, though, because I wouldn't have picked up none recently. So I got to organize these. These are all, like, green. I got to get them organized, y'all, before I buy any more seeds. I really do, because I need to know what I need to get. Let me put these in here. All right. So let's see. I'm just rambling. Never heard of that pepper. Oh, okay. Unimportant homestead. Like I say, y'all, if I miss y'all thing, just go ahead and run it back through because I ain't gonna be able to read all these. Rap said anything that has honey, you know it's good. I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> um, Garden State Garden said, I have a pack of Pippin Golden Honey right here in front of me. Do a numbers game one to a hundred, and I will mail the winner. The winner, winner needs needs to email me. So you said do a numbers game. So you saying you want me to do that right now? Like just think of a number and have somebody put it in. Like I don't understand. I, don't understand. I know you be doing the the um the games over there. Well, you be giving away every Sunday. I don't understand. I don't understand. But if you got some right there in front of you, I'm going to go ahead and drop these bad boys. Hey, Mel Mal. You are absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Ralph. I mean, can't wait until you start dehydrating. Yes, honey. It's going down. It's going down in the deep. Okay, let me stop. Yes, it's going down. It's going down. I can't wait neither. I cannot. I, I'm happy that I got. You know, I, I've been planning. I've been putting my planning stuff out. You know, I am one of them planners. We be using all the stickers and stuff like that. Just colorful everything. I've been playing. I've been planning. Y'all, I couldn't even fit it in the actual planner. So I made me a binder with noble paper and start using my planner stickers on it. I've been planning like that, y'all. I'm serious. I am very serious. Somebody told me this was my year. And I believe that my year to, to do bigger. I ain't gonna say bigger. Do things that I've been wanting to do and haven't been able to do mentally, mainly. So I'm riding with that. I'm riding with that. I'm riding with that. You know? So I feel like I deserve it. For for once in my life, I deserve to, you know. Do what I need to do. So, Garden State Gardener, finna pop these in. Since you say you got some sitting right in front of you. All right. Father. 
And I already know when these germinate, I'm going to be transplanting them really quick because this pan is not so deep. Man, that's all it. I told y'all, they don't be giving a whole lot. That's all that they gave in this thing. All right, so let's see. Hey, Muhammad Ali. Raf said, I love your style. Thank you. Just being me, just being me. And that's the thing. Being yourself and people like you for being yourself is like a plus. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I said, yes, write down a number. They guess they pick the right number. They win. Got you, got you. First person that picks the number wins. So you want me to do this now? Just say yes, girl. Say girl. Now you ask me to do this now. Yes. Okay. All right. So we go. We gonna do. So what Garden State Garden is saying, I'm gonna pick a number from one to a hundred. The first person that gets the number in the chat, the first person that gets the number in the chat, he's gonna send them um, these peppers here. Okay, you gotta send him, you gotta email him, okay? So let me get something so I can write it down. Hold up. I'm gonna do this. I know what number I'm gonna pick, and it's gonna be in honor, in honor of my granny, okay? So. So y'all ready? <laughs> y'all done started. So you go ahead. Start putting the number in the chat. One to a hundred. I'm looking. I'm waiting. So anybody that's coming in, we doing a pepper giveaway garden state garden is gonna send y'all some peppers these right here you got to put a number in the chat from one to a hundred okay one to a hundred the first person that gets the number will win some seeds from garden state garden <laughs> uh thank you so much garden of angels and abundance See? Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. And I gave y'all a hint. It's in honor of my grain. Honor of my grain. This number. Well, it's not, is it? Okay. It's. We'll just leave it like that. Oh, trying to make sure ain't nobody got it. Some people are close, but not there. Some people is taking hints to my um to my thing, but y'all not there. Come on, somebody, somebody, y'all so close. Couple your clothes. Anybody that's coming in, put a number in from one to a hundred to try to win some seeds from Garden State Garden.
Unimportant homestead got it. Unimportant homestead. The number was 76. 76. 76. So y'all can stop. Unimportant homestead is the winner. A couple of y'all was close. Somebody hit 75 and went to 77. The answer is 76. Congratulations, unimportant homestead. Make sure you um email Garden State Gardener, okay? <laughs> It's and then Marquise came. It's too late. Um, unimportant homestead already guessed it. Yes, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. So, um, unimportant homestead will be receiving the Pippi Pippin's Golden Honey Seeds from Garden State Gardener. I just used them <laughs> from Garden State Gardener. Also, y'all, every Sunday, Garden State Gardener, you still do it on Sundays, right? Um, 7 p.m. He plays games and stuff, and you can win more seeds and stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so he still do it. So Garden State Gardener, y'all. So unimportant homestead. Make sure you go over, um, get in touch with, with Garden State Gardener so you can email him. Okay, he does it every Sunday from 7 to 9. Y'all want to win some seeds and stuff. Um, but, yeah, the answer was 76, and congrats, unimportant homestead. Um that was the age she was when she passed away, okay, which is a blessing. I did that because that was a blessing. A lot of people don't reach 70 nothing, you know, so three months before she made 77. So that's why I picked 76. And I thought by me saying in honor that y'all, some of y'all was paying attention to it because you start taking the number up. So that's how y'all was teetering around it. And I'm like, somebody gonna get it. <laughs> Way to go. All right, y'all. So that was fun. Let me go ahead and put um the rest of these in here. Okay, so this is something. When it comes to the flea market, I know I'm doing the ghost peppers, the Carolina Reapers, the chilies. Those rosas, the hibernaros, the cayenne peppers, probably the pippin golden honey. Okay. Um, but this one right here, y'all. I want to do this for myself and dehydrate and turn it into a powder. Y'all already hear it, girl. So I got to say that's that. I mean, that's one way to do it. You don't get heartburn from it. So we think in the same way. So this is a sweet chocolate. Okay, so when I something happened to this one last year, can't remember. Now let me tell y'all too. When y'all get these packets like this, I Baker Creek, they had changed it up where they had stopped sending these like this. But if they do, I always try to keep it because the information for it is on the back. Um, this is a medium size semi bell, um, ripened very early. Flesh color is cola red color, as y'all can see. Very sweet and delicious, okay? So, something happened to this pepper when I did it before. And I did not try it last year, so I'm going to try it again this year. Probably be one the people that catch people eye, they want to um, try it at the flea market. But basically, I want to do it for here to dehydrate, okay? So, it's already open. Let's see how many I have left. I have quite a bit.
All right, so sweet banana peppers is another pepper that gives you a lot. It yields a lot. My thing is, well, you know what? I'm going to do it. I was thinking if it was going to do anything because the stores sell banana peppers. But if I keep the price right, they'll buy from me. So, hey, probably do it that way. So, I will do it because... I have another one. It won't hurt nothing. If I change my mind, I can always sell the plant. <laughs> so This one is full, so I am just about to put dirt on top.
All right, y'all. So I got some peppers, but before I put all peppers in here, I have to sweep. All right. Where is my? Okay. So I am about to. One more thing that I plan on taking to the flea market. Oprah. Love me some okra. You need it. You sure that one don't work? I, I think I well, it's see it like months and months, so I gotta try it. See? Four fifty. Remember when you took that? Well, just go write it down now. Four fifty, cause I but I forgot. That way I know if you need another one. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So. These are my spineless, Clemens spineless, I think, or something like that. Let me say. I need a lot of okra ones. I want to plant a lot of okra this year. Actually, I'm going to do two areas of this okra. I need to see if I got seeds for red. I know I had some. I need. I'm looking for my red burgundy. I may not have none. Oh, no. 
that one. I was like, I hope I had some. All right. Whoops. Okay. All right. So red burgundy is what I was looking for. The red burgundy okra. I did not want to forget getting these done. Birdie Blossoms Gardening said, I have thousands of seeds. Oh, yes. What song? I'm sorry, um, Marquise Carter. I'm just not saying this. You said what song? I don't even know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Have to take to go take care of bye bye um garden state gardener say wow Um, where did I get those containers? About the containers, I have the seeds in. I got them from Michaels. Um, now the deal about those, I ended up paying for one of them straight out. They like forty five dollars for a container. But if you sign up for Michaels Rewards, they be going on sale for like fifteen dollars, y'all. So I was able to get, I think, my other two for maybe fifteen. Um, but if you don't catch them on sale, they like forty five dollars for one. So. Make sure y'all, um, when you go to Michael's, make sure you sign up for their little rewards. And sometimes they be sending you, like, Michael's cash that you can use on stuff, too. But Michael's is where I got them. I think somebody said that they was on Amazon, but they're a different brand. I can only speak about this brand. This brand works. I don't know if the ones on Amazon is going to be, like, heavy duty or whatever. Um, so I will say Michael's. Your seeds. I kept them in. Okay. All right, y'all. So, whew. so these are my red burgundy okra. Okay, red burgundy. Okay. I wanted to do these. I'm gonna put some in between there. That way, they don't get mixed up with the with these. So, I know an okra plant when it comes up in case the seeds are so. Let me. I know I got them now. So let me. Put that one right there. Let me find something else to put in this center part. Feel like I can get more. I'm gonna end up dropping more peppers, y'all. But I will bring y'all along as I do it. I gotta get some more of them containers. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. Some of y'all probably like, um, how am I going to keep next from in this? Die to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> Once I get them in there where I'm going to sit them at, 
I'm going to sprinkle some diatomaceous earth right on top of the soil. Any nets or anything that want to try to grow, hopefully that'll go ahead and take care of it. Uh, do your chives in the center. Mama Boss style. Thank you, honey, because I needed some chives. Nana, just found. Thank you, honey, because I sure was looking. Thank you, because I sure was not thinking about that. See there? See? Yeah, I'm going to put the chives in the center. Oh. I'm going to put some chives. You know what, honey? I'm going to put the chives in the center of this one right here. And that will leave me two more spots for, like, some peppers. So thank you so much, because I was saying I, I, I feel like I could get something else over in there. I'm finna run chives straight down the cell. Yup. Yup. Straight down the center, honey. Thank you so much. I'm doing a lot of them, too. Cause like I say, I'm gonna take them out and thin them out for them. Got it in there. Got it in there. All right. So let me see what else I'm going to put right here. And then I'm going to put all red burgundy ones at the bottom. So. about because it's pretty and it's different um for us taking them out there wait did i not do those oh no and i told y'all about this stuff and didn't even do it did i okay i'll do it later because it ain't that many in there i need something that's got a lot in there um Poblanos is another one that grows a lot, okay? Poblanos. But I don't want to do too many of what's already in the stove. I want to do something different. I'm actually thinking about that one right there. It's not hot, but I'm going to do this one. The albino blue nose, because that'll be a different one. And it's got no seeds. The albino blue nose, I'm going to do those ones right here.
that one in there. Already have narrows. I'm gonna do this one, y'all. Sweet pepper. It's a sweet pepper. It's the lemon dream. So I'm gonna do that one. The lemon dream. Now, I'm about to do my red burgundy okra here at the bottom. A lot of okra plants, y'all. Because, now, normally, I do okra in the buckets, containers. You can do it in the containers and the buckets. This year, I'm not. Now, they gave me a lot of okra. This year, I'm not, though. Because of how I've done my layout, okra is going to be directly in the ground. There's a reason why. I'm going to have uh, a lot of greens in the buckets. Okay, because how I'm doing both indoor, in ground, and container gardening. So, if you want to see those videos, or if you're wondering, can you do okra in buckets? Yeah, I did it for three years. You can do but uh, okra in containers, but just this year, I am doing it in the ground. Okay, so y'all don't be surprised when you see it. And I'm, I want a lot of okra plants okra plants everywhere okay so yes i am i'm not playing and i like okra <laughs> yeah get a few more right there all right also i'm keeping in mind some seeds may not come up I don't want to repeat. I hate repeating. I hate having to go back and start over. So I'm doing a lot of them right now. They won't go to waste. But at least I have what I need. Because I refuse to pay $5 for one day I'm going to plant at, at, um, at uh, freaking what Lowe's and Home Depot. Try the supply? Nah, I'm good. Not gonna pay $5 for that. No. And then lately, they've been having a lot of disease in the plant scene, like, and then you bringing it back to your garden. I ain't got time for that. Y'all give me a second. Let me get some more dirt.
Y'all y'all know I'm allergic to this stuff. And I'm sitting here like <laughs> like my head itching, my hand itching, my face itching. Cause of this daggone dirt. But it's alright though. an inspiration because I would have never thought about using those pants to start seeds. I have a lot of them. Yes, ma'am. Just don't, um, if you put holes in the bottom, just make sure you set it off into another one. I didn't put holes in mine because I'm not going to drench it. I'm not going to drench it with water. And once I get a good seedling out of these, I'm going to start transplanting them anyway. So, yeah. And they cheap. <laughs> well, Cheaper than you, you can go to Dollar Tree. Now, the ones at the Dollar Tree now ain't as sturdy. They done, they quality is down. But, you know, you can get these a little cheaper than paying for all them sale, seed trays and all that stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm not done. I'm done for now. But, it's done. When it comes to right now, because I have something to go do. Um, so I have to be done. I gotta get this mess cleaned up. Um, but yeah, so I was able to do child well six mm, eight peppers, a whole bunch of okra, the red burgundy, and the clint uh spineless um Clemens finest okra. I think it's the Clemens finest, uh, but the green ones, and then chives and the red burgundy ones. So yes. Let's see. All right, y'all. So the so mines were free. So where you hit it, then um, Mama Ball style. If it was free, hey, you can't beat that with a stick. That's a win-win situation right there. So let's see. Uh, watching you plant is so refreshing. Thank you, Mama Ball Style. Uh, the uh, Dr. Earth on top is very smart. Yes, yes. Dr. Earth is my best friend in the garden now. <laughs> I always get the full grade. Let me just say that. I always get the full grade Dr. Earth, okay? Um, Nessa said, hi, girl. May Jehovah bless you all. Oh, thank you. Yes, 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 honey. I got a lot of plans I plan to do if it's Jehovah's will. I got you. Um, Super Sense says, so these will be able, these will be grown inside. They will be started inside. Eventually, they're going to go outside, but I'm starting them because these, um, these um, take a long time to germinate. So, yeah, these will be inside for some weeks. Um to get them started and stuff like that. Is it best to make your own compost? It depends on the person. It depends on your lifestyle. If you need to, um, then yes. I mean, a lot of people gonna say yes because it's organic, you know what's in it and all that type of stuff. But y'all know how I feel about that. Anything that's outside, especially with everything that's supposed to be going on and Things in the air, stuff in the air and all this stuff ain't nothing really organic, okay? Stuff is so much stuff that falls down out of the air and get blown and go right into your garden. You might well go out there and pull, you know, put some of the stuff that they say don't do in there. Um, um, so either way, I mean, if you got time to, then I would say go for it. 
You know, if you don't, then don't stress over that neither if you don't have time. Um, Nessa said, I want to email you about some stuff. Okay, yeah, honey. Mississippi Girl 2021 at Gmail. Mississippi Girl 2021 at Gmail. It will be in a garbage. <laughs> it will be in a garbage can. Got gotcha. you. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can do it in totes and things. What if it has a lid? Go if you got time, honey. I say do it. Let's see. Oh, Lord, look at the sign. All right, y'all. So I got to get off of here because I got something I need to do. Um, I'm so glad that I made myself get this done because I have been forgetting, forgetting it and pushing it off and all that type of stuff. So expect more live screens like this um, and videos like this as we get this stuff together. Um, I don't know. I may come back tonight with a live screen. I got to go make some money, y'all. So, okay, it's 54 people in here. Let me know. I'm going to go door dashing. I don't know if I'm if I'm dashing or if a run going to dash. Um, he, it's probably going to be him going actually dash. Y'all want to do a night door dash live screen tonight? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if y'all want to do that. I'm door dashing to Nessa said I'm door dashing too. There we go. See? See? what i'm talking about okay so uh when that's up you do that shit you ain't gonna be able to be on live oh wait a minute mama ball style said me too <laughs> so we all thinking the same thing have you tried sport oh nothing okay so maybe you can tell me i okay so i applied for spark like a year ago and it wasn't in my area so it's in my area now, supposedly. So when I go to the site, they say that I have a profile, but I can't get in touch with nobody, and it won't show me nothing. It'll say, because I, I, I want to do Walmart deliveries. I do, because I used to do it through Point Pickup. Nah, they, the one from my area is rude. I can't find a number. I can't find Sparks' number. Do you? If you got their number, can you send it to me in my in, to my email? My email is MississippiGirl2021 at Gmail. MississippiGirl2021 at Gmail. If you can email me that number, I appreciate it. Okay, so she said there is no number. I know because I couldn't find it. I thought maybe she had one. I can't find it. And it's just, I think I'm going to end up doing a whole nother account on a whole nother cell phone <laughs> and email. Because if they got it here, I want to do it. I try to keep all those um things open so i can fall back of one you know go out i can fall back on the next i'm on the waiting list and it's in background check okay got you mama ball style so uh go to ddi ddi what's that do it from your computer okay i'll try to do it from my computer mama ball style i haven't tried it from my computer so yeah see see okay so 57 people in here. How many people? Well, I'm going to actually go. I saw what one of y'all said that you'll be in here. You'll be listening in while you do that. So all I needed was one person. So I'll probably uh, go back live. Y'all, I ain't got time to cook nothing. We did pretty decent today. So I may <laughs> I may have to get uh, like a little Caesar pizza or whatever. Because y'all, let me tell y'all something. Now y'all see, my day has been interesting then i've been on here doing this it's time for it's time to go make money now see what i be saying you get so busy so i may have to just do pizza because i don't want them to have no greasy burgers or anything like that at least with the pizza little caesar don't be putting hardly no sauce on it it'll just be cheese and bread pretty much you might well have cheesy bread <laughs> i rather have that because i did have them to do we did vegetables and stuff today no, did we have meat today? We didn't have no meat today. We didn't do no meat today. Um, so oops, I have to see. I have to see. So I'll probably do that and then just start dashing. So I'll probably just go back live. 
Okay, yeah, I'll go back live and while we maybe we'll get some dashes to the boondocks. Um, he'll he'll be running the dash more likely. Um, and I'll just be talking to you or just let y'all see the, the streets <laughs> um at night or whatever and just run it that way. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that. It ain't gonna hurt. I have two devices while I'm dashing because I love that money. I know that's right, huh? That's why I looked over there. I'm like, okay, one, two. I, mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. I got you. I got y'all. I'm like, okay, they both charge. So, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So, I feel you. I feel you all the way. So, yeah, I would definitely do that. That's how I went live the other day when I was actually dashing, is I was using another device. <laughs> so, I got you. I have two phones. So, okay. See? Oh, see what Got you, got you. Um, sometimes some don't. I understand. Um, please give her more likes. She does a great job. Thank you so much, Sandra Walker. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sometimes one has bad reception. Oh, I got you, honey. I got you. I understand. Especially when they have you go down. Hey, two percent. Also, you're saying you want um uh, do a live screen for a DoorDash. I sure will. I sure will. Um, so I'm glad y'all said spark because I got I got to go. I got to do it on my computer to see if I can get that because you know I want that Walmart. I want the, I want the Walmart pickup. Okay. Um. So with that being said, since I'm gonna be we're gonna be dashing, <laughs> we're gonna be I got you two percent. We're gonna be dashing with some of y'all ladies and gentlemen. Um, tonight, let me go ahead and mama boss. I'll say, yes, ma'am. See, that's what I'm be saying. See, I like that. I like that. I like that. Making your own money on your own time. That's yeah. So with that being said, y'all, let me go ahead and get off. Cause I think his dash is at 5 30 and it's 5 22. Okay. Um, so y'all know how that goes. Y'all dash should be constantly moving the dag on dash. Mama Boss on the same, see, Nessa said Mama Boss on the same, yes, Nessa, she on the same page, okay, <laughs> on the same page, so I saw, but Mama Boss, Nessa, and of course me, yeah, so we the, we the ones dashing tonight, that, let's see, Diane Wynn said, let's dash, got you, got you, got you, I dash, I dash, oh, you a dasher, are you saying you a, a dad of the night? I dash of the night. Mama boss, what you saying? Oh, you're a top dasher. Oh, see, oh, let me tell you, honey. In my area, they don't be wanting to tilt. I am not no top dasher because I sure be letting the time out if the money ain't right. <laughs> be letting the time out. I be cherry picking. Um, I feel like Uber Eats is better in my area, but something been going on with my Uber Eats, man. They won't send me base orders, and those are the orders that be paying. And they say ain't nothing wrong with my account, but that is what be paying, okay? So I'm probably gonna end up redoing me a whole nother door to edge too. Cause I feel like something wrong with it. Shonda said, happy home city. More grace. Thank you so much, Shonda Davis. Thank you, honey bunny. 2% said, okay, drive safe. Thank you. Stay safe, y'all. Wear a camera because people be saying they don't get their own. Oh, and how about the wrong address? You put the wrong address on there. We put the money. I mean, we put the food where you say, and then you call talking about you didn't get your food and stuff. Man, that's why. That's why when they say leave it dope, make sure you take that picture. Now I'm guilty. Sometimes I ain't had no service. And I took the picture. And when I got service, I didn't go back to take the picture. So I'm lucky that didn't nobody complain or whatever. But yeah, y'all, and I'm gonna tell you, when y'all dashing. Make sure you try to get the, the surrounding area of they dope. Because sometimes they be talking about something when you just get like the flow and like it's just concrete and you left it somewhere else. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Um, Let's see. Dash cam is really, really good. Having you one that records really, really good. I have one from um when I was driving Uber, the ride share. Had to, y'all. Had to. <laughs> but I used it for the inside. Um, let's see when decline them. You missed the big cash tippers. 
Th that's what I was wondering. But in my area, I have taken some and still didn't get no tip. None at all. And then on top of that, y'all, we did the, you know, it has where you can, you go to the store and you, like, say, like, pizza. We had pizza orders. And the customer was supposed to pay in cash or whatever. They said they was going to dock it at the end of the week. They docked it the next day. Like, really? Really? So I said, no, no, not again. Because then you got to dig yourself out the hole, you know? Um, Brother Bob said, have a good night. Thank you so much, honey. Nessa said, yes, I'm going to start a YouTube for it. A lot of people be crazy. Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. Especially the non-tip orders try to get the address number in the pit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I got a $30 tip. See, woo, honey, I know you was happy. I know you was happy. I was thinking that though, do some of the people that don't tip, do they actually that don't tip in the app when the app when the order is low? Do you we may just try that tonight? I'll see if he wanna just take all the orders and see if he get good tips. Because I done heard that too. But sometimes they don't tip at all. They put that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or they be saying it's a house. And then when you get there, it's an apartment. No building. Up. Exactly. It's like, y'all, my battery is about, this computer about to die. Um, and then the ones that be having their work address, you take it to their job and then find out they stay all the way across town somewhere. Like, really? Oh, I'll take all orders and I'll take all orders and so you saying mama boss style taking all orders is good. You, 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 okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I know it's most people who don't tip, they the ones who will stay, who will say they didn't get their food. Yeah, just try something. So, y'all, let me go ahead and get off of here and so we can um get out or whatever. And then, I um, once I get stay full and get settled or whatever then i'll come back and go live yes my rating is a hundred percent i think mine is like 98 my actual rating but my acceptance rate <laughs> i'm in the red because i show was not taking them low orders i just can't see myself going eight miles for 250 mm -mm. but i'm gonna try it because you said they be tipping in your area you see okay i'm gonna try so with that being said y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this live right here y'all be safe and i'll see y'all in a little bit, if it's God's will, okay? I will see y'all in a little bit. And another one, if y'all decide to come back, all right? I do it. Y'all be safe, okay? Bye.